Daddy, aren't you going with me to the airport? A young lady owes her father the courtesy of her greeting before she asks, Aren't you going with me to the airport? Good evening. Uh huh. <laughs> it's time to go and pick up my fiance. You're too quick to call him your fiance. My dear, how many times will I tell you that most of the young men nowadays are bums? Nick is not a bum. Hmm, it remains to be seen. Please. Just get to know him. That is what I'm just about to do. That is why I asked you to ask him to come and spend this leave with us so he can get to know us and we can get to meet the uh, young man who has stolen my only child's fancy. <laughs> He's a good man, Daddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Drive carefully. You know the traffic on the airport road is very heavy. I will, Dad. Good. Congratulations. Hmm? You finally began to write your autobiography. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Father is there, my father in law to be awaits me, take me in his arms. Man, I didn't feel like that when I got down in Lagos this afternoon. You know why? why? Even though Lagos is home, but he is home because this is where you are, this is where you can be found. You know, damn, okay. How far is the journey from here? About now, 30 minutes. Ah, 30 minutes. Damn, I can't wait. I can't wait too. You can't wait. What can you wait for? I can't wait to take my shower. Yeah, right. You lying. Oh, you. I'm not lying. <laughs> I can remember the last time was when you came to Canada during the vacation. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Mm -mm. You do. I don't. You do. I do. You're a liar. You're a liar. Swear, swear. You swear first. No, you swear first. You. You swear first. You. <laughs> okay, fine. Who's going to drive? All right. Me or you? You drive. Okay, cool. Me. Thank you. What time is it? Um, oh, it's about 8. 8 p.m.? Well, get dinner ready. Meanwhile, uh, let him um, clean up, but uh, change of clothes. Generally, freshen up. You know, um, it's been a long haul for him. Yes. All right. See you at dinner then. Okay, my dear. All right, bye-bye.
You know what? Let's eat. I don't think my father's going to come down for dinner. I've been up to his room several times to call him, and he keeps saying, Give me five minutes. I'll join you in a second. All this while typing away at his computer. Nick, I'm so sorry. It's just that my father's been so preoccupied writing his autobiography. It takes most of his time. It's alright. <clears throat> I understand. A thousand apologies, Mr. Nicholas. Oh, Daddy, you came down. How very late am I? I am for dinner. I'm very honored to meet you, sir. I'm much more honored to be in your house. And that is a rehearsed speech, my boy. Come, give me a hug. Don't let our first meeting be so formal. Oh, truth is good. Sir? Truth. Calvin Klein? Is that not the perfume you're wearing? Yes, sir. Well, how did you know? You don't know my father. He's such a genius. <laughs> well, let's have dinner without any further interruptions. Mmm, so I smell lamb stew here. Mmm, I can taste it already. <laughs> Stop it. I'm the last. No. I'm the last. No, I'm the last. I'm the last. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I've been thinking. Have you, like, I felt afraid, you know, afraid to give your life to somebody else, you know, your very existence. No, I don't, should I? No, um, okay, well, wrong choice of word. Maybe I really mean to say, um, it's uncertain, all right, uncertain. Have you felt uncertain about I think it has to do with the way you feel about the one you're with. I guess if you love someone and the one loves you in return in the same measure, there's no need to feel uncertain. And how can you guarantee that that person loves you equally? Well, if you're in love, both of you should know. There's a difference between loving somebody and being in love with somebody. It's like saying, I love you, and saying, I'm in love with you. One is deeper than the other. Okay, so which one, which one is deeper? Okay, well, what's, what's our case? Am I in love with you, or do I love you? You're in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with you. Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to show you how much I'm in love with you? Eh? Huh? No. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you. Shouldn't both of you be sleeping in separate bedrooms since you are not husband and wife yet? Oh, Nick. Um. Can you take a break from uh, kissing my little daughter and come with me? This is the door to my room. And this is the door to your new room. Go and sleep. Good night, sir. Nicholas. We are neighbors now, and I am a very light sleeper. <laughs> I can hear doors open and close even in my sleep. And I can hear silent footsteps. What I'm saying is, I don't want any of that. Good night. Good night, sir. Nicholas! Nicolas! Nicolas! Sir! Sir! Nicolas! Shouldn't you be out of bed by now? It's up at 5 a.m. 
time for jogging. Uh, sir, I, I don't jog every morning. Really. What? Are you a woman? I've had it already. Um, I'm still jet lag. Can I sleep a little longer, please? What nonsense! with water. You shouldn't drink so too much after exercising, otherwise it will grab you here. Yes, sir. Drink a little at a time. I got you, sir. Are you a horse? No, you sir. know how horses drink, don't you? Yes, sir. I have seen horses drink water. But I don't see anything undignifying about the way they drink it. You're not by any chance trying to argue with me, are you? No, sir. Hmm. Good. He was still sleeping, so I took off his shoes and tucked him in park. Mother Hen, adjusting her very lazy fiancé, smothering him further into sleep, even though she knows it is 11 a.m. already. Daddy, Nick is not lazy. He's just tired and there's jet lag too. Ah, and there's a little talk of me Taking him for a little jog this morning. Oh, this is uh, over pampered self. Cannot deal with a little exercise. Dad, you did what? He needed to rest after all that flying from yesterday and the day before. How could you? Mm. 
a love struck girl where is her father how could you for the sake of a man she doesn't know whether he will he loves her and will marry her and take care of her the way her father does now that is foolish I'm sorry daddy I'll tell you what kind of man I want you to marry a man with a soldier's heart a strong man a man who will love you protect you 100 percent i want you to marry a man like your father and where will i find such a man daddy this is the third man you're rejecting you're always looking for all your qualities in whoever will marry me but that is not possible daddy i'm in love with nick I know mommy died giving birth to me, and you had to raise me alone. But daddy, I'll be fine, okay? Besides, you can always check up on me and look in whenever I get married. gets married, I will be a lonely old man, living in this big house all alone. Allow me to finish. I'm sorry, sir. I want you to make sure that you take care of my baby. Love her. Protect her. Always, always be thinking of her. And if for any reason you don't love her anymore, and you bring her back to me. I can never not love Louisa, sir. I love her very much. Now you look into my eyes. Do you see the weariness? The loneliness? An aging man who is about to lose his only child and companion to a man who, who I, 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 I don't even know what you are. A man who lives in Canada and says he loves her from there. If you ever hurt my little girl, I shall come after you. Tell me, how do you chase girls in Canada? 
Oh, come, come on. Man to man. No big deal. <laughs> I don't chase women, sir. Oh, come on. I don't. I've already found the one that I love. Well, let's go and play a double game with those people. small boy? You know I'm not a small boy. So why does he treat me like one? As if I'm a little boy. I'm a man. A grown man. I have my own house. I don't disrespect people like that when they come to my house. So why is he disrespecting me? What does he want from me? Nick, my father's just been overprotective. He's actually a pleasant person if you get to know him well. Well, if I get to know him well, is he giving me the chance? Is he giving me the chance to get to know him well? No, I don't think so. It seems like he's just out to regiment my life and my relationship with you. That's it. I don't understand it. Huh? I have a good job. Why did you invite me here in the first place if you didn't want to meet me? Young man, I've been listening to your voice. Is this how you speak so much when you're eating? It's a wonder that uh, Louisa can understand what you're saying with your mouth full. In polite company, you do not speak with your mouth full. My dear, why are you crying? <laughs> you don't want me to tell him the truth? Look at it. Beef. Beef everywhere. You know what that means? It means that he's going to fill his arteries with cholesterol. And where will that leave you? He will die and make you a widow before your time. Is that what you want? Sweetie, please don't cry. Okay. It's okay. Please don't cry. My dear, wipe off your tears. There is no need for it. What is the meaning of what you're doing? Are you trying to say you can console her better than me? If you don't mind, I would like to console my daughter alone. Thank you. It's all right, sir. For Christ's sake, Nick, are you not a man? Is it everything he tells you that you say? Yes, sir, too. All right, sir, too. Come on. It's all right, my daughter. Encourage a total stranger to disobey me. Total stranger. <laughs> Obey the little girl and, and disobey me. I'll be upstairs in my room. nothing to worry about. You are young. You are intelligent. You are beautiful. Yes. Men must flock. You have all the combination. You have nothing to worry about. Eh? And you have a father who loves you very much. Don't worry.
Luisa. 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 Oh, Imagine us sneaking around this house like some innocent lovers. I know. <laughs> you all like this. <laughs> we're engaged to be married for Christ's sake. I hope you're not going back to your room tonight. No, no. You want to sleep with me? Yes. Ah, come here. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Glowing? Since when did you start answering a question with another question? And uh, what are you dressed for? Nick and I are going shopping. Oh, shopping? Oh, whose money? Yours or his? Both. Hmm. Ah, this is Nick. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Nick. Uh, did you uh, have a good night? Did you sleep well in your room? Um. <clears throat> well, y yes, I did, sir. Um, I had a good night. My night was just fine. All right, Daddy. We'll see you later, okay? Goodbye. Is this what you're wearing out with my daughter? You're going out in these clothes? With all respect, sir. Is there anything wrong with my clothes? It's not the clothes. It's the dressing. What is wrong with the good formal dressing? You are going out with a lady. You are going out with my daughter. A suit or a blazer will do just fine. Oh, come on, go and get rid of this, this uh, baggy rubbish and this T-shirt. You look most irresponsible. Look, nobody's changing any clothes. Goodbye, Dad. Let me go somewhere. Okay, this is. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Please come in. Thank you very much for the food. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'll 
Yes, you are. Come on, time. Yes, sir. Hi. Ah. You're a little dizzy, right? Uh -huh. What are you looking at now? Water? Yeah. Wow. Here we go. You dislike my father, don't you? Well, I can't say I blame you. He asked for it. I wouldn't say I dislike him. Dislike is not the word. It's more like frustrates. He just wants to frustrate me. And I think it's about time I move into a hotel. He won't like it. Hell, he won't like it. I know, because he wants me under his roof so that he sees what I do, what I eat, what I smell, how I do whatever, how I kiss you and all of that. That's all he wants. I really wish both of you could be friends. Well, he's not giving me the chance. It doesn't seem like he wants my friendship. Be great, sir, if it won't be a bother to you. It will give me great pleasure. <laughs> okay. So. Have a nice day, sir. Have a supreme day. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. going on here? Is someone traveling? Nick is moving into a hotel. A hotel? Isn't he comfortable here? Well, sir, I think it's better I move into a hotel. A hotel? Oh, come, 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 my dear boy. Come, come, let me, let's have a chat and share a drink. My dear, um, get his case you see, my dear boy, maybe you think um, I don't want my daughter to get married. Or not to you in particular. Now let me assure you that nothing could be further from my mind. I mean, why would I want to think a thing like that? I mean, would I be the one to marry my own daughter? God forbid. You know, it is the deep father they love which makes me want to protect and guide her all the way. And the fact that uh, she's my only child. You know, <clears throat> I met a lady today. I have decided to take another wife uh, to keep me company uh, when um, Louisa gets married. Yes. I have decided to trust you a little, believing that you will take care of my daughter even better than I will. <laughs> She's still a child in my eyes. She's not a woman yet. She's still a child. You are welcome to spend your leave here. Then we will get to know you and you will get to know us. But 
I don't want any of that sex stuff until you are well and truly married. Am I clear? Don't be silent. Say yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Good. Cheers. Sexuality. Benita. Oh, I, I, I wish, I wish you were here. I wish you didn't leave us. If it's time for you to go, it's for me a time of day when I don't see my baby. Thank you. 
our oppressor. The people have nothing better to do than to start kissing everywhere, every time. That is my fiance. I don't want to hear that nonsense. I don't want to hear that nonsense in this house. You, Nicholas, go upstairs to your room and find something better to do with your time other than just kissing and kissing and kissing. My daughter is not a sport. Your daughter is not a sport. I don't treat her like one and she's not. And we all know that. So why are you being cynical? Is that what you want? Is that what you wanted to do? Cry all the time? Are you happy now? You feel good inside? What's all this? I'm a grown man. Look, if you are such a hard rock and you cannot love anymore, it doesn't mean some of us should it. And not that I'm afraid of you. Because I said you're free to marry my daughter doesn't mean you have to do everything in one day. Don't you have respect for this house? For me? For my daughter? Are you a ego? Are you a ego? Because in law, my daughter is not a she -go. so many times and I always kept quiet I, I swallowed it a man has to bark sometimes too you know I want you and daddy to be friends <laughs> you and each other's not good at all I know and I promise it's not gonna happen again I can promise you that and what if he keeps yelling at you I'm asking you, Nick. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I suppose I will yell back. Or I'll probably just leave this house. Nick, um, I have a headache. I've been crying my eyes out. I need some sleep. It's past 7 p.m. already. You should sleep too. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Good night. I love you. The future holds another life. The future holds another fear. We think this, we think that. We think here, we think there Oh, no one knows There's no other sign We're still in love in the heart of the night Nick! Nick! So despite all my warnings Louisa still sneaked up here into your room Where is my daughter? I just woke up. She must be in her room, sir. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't speak again last night? Well, we did. I called her on the phone, only to tell her good night. And then I slept immediately afterwards. Ah. Louisa is not in her room. Neither is she anywhere to be found in this compound.
police had gone out this morning? Yes, sir. It's very early. Huh? So you said that uh, she was going to buy something, sir. To buy what? I don't know, sir. She didn't tell me. And what time was this? Uh, now it's uh, 9 o'clock. She went out by 6.30. That means over two hours, sir. Sir, there's no cause for alarm yet. I am sure something must be delaying her. She will come back. It is that something that is delaying her that's got me worried. Now what on earth will be delaying her for over two hours? In all the years I have been Louisa's father, she has never gone out of this compound without first letting me know. on you to fish out that young man. Then we will get the whereabouts of my daughter. Maybe both of them have, have, have decided to elope. Or else, how does one uh, uh, explain this extraordinary coincidence? That my daughter left this house 6 a.m. in the morning and up till now, she's not back. Wow. This evening, Nicholas vanished. But sir, do you have his phone number so that you can give him a call and persuade him to come back since your daughter's phone is off? I don't have his phone number. I have never asked for it. Sir, at about what time do you think Nick left the house this evening? Uh, Abby? Sir? Uh, come, come, come. Here is the gate, man. Now, tell us about... Uh, what time did um, Nicholas rush out of the house, according to you? Sir, he went out uh, at around uh, 5 p.m. I checked the time. Then I waited for one hour. When he did not come back, I alerted you. Now you've heard mm. it, gentlemen. <laughs> the key to finding my daughter lies with finding him. We will, sir. Good. But you need to make a formal report and statement at the office that your daughter is missing. Yes, sir. I will do that very gladly. Um, go and bring the khaki. Yes, sir. Sir, the worst thing is her phone has been off all day. It's been off all day. The minute we noticed she had disappeared, it's been off. I wasn't sure what to do next. I just couldn't sit there and watch her father not do anything. He just brewed, hoping that she will return. She still hasn't returned. It's all right. According to you, she grew up in this town. It's difficult for her to get lost. I agree, sir. I understand that. But I am very worried. I'm worried something will happen to her. And if something happens to her, I will die. Because I love her dearly. Can you just get your men? Yes, come in. Sir, there's a man here to report a case of a missing person. He called us while we were on patrol in his area. Another missing person? Yes, sir. Send him in. Nicholas, what are you doing here? You two know each other. This young man is heartbroken. His fiancée is missing. Sir, I had to let the police know. I had to come and alert them that Louisa has been missing all day. I just couldn't sit there and watch you do nothing about it. My Louisa is missing, and I had to tell the police.
my father get along with Nick. That's it. He nearly arrested Organico. He nearly did what? He went to the police station to ask for Organic's arrest. And after then, I don't really know what happened. But they came back together. He thinks Nick is the one hiding me. Yes. Yes. Good. And now? Since today, how can Nick and Oga, your father, have been in the house? Going out and coming in. And each time I look at Oga's face, each time I look at his face, Looks as if he will cry any moment. But should I go now? Please keep me informed about whatever is going on in the house. Yes, Auntie. And don't tell anyone I'm here. Have you stopped? Nick, I am tired. I don't know where she is. If you don't know where she is, then where is she? Look, I should be resting. Going through all this. What kind of a society is this? And 
And who on earth will want to harm Louisa? Who? I, I'm just scared. Scared to think that there is something wrong with her. I don't even want to think that she's missing. Okay? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I will just wake up and see that all oh, this is just a dream. Let's go home. Something I want to show you. I've been uh, writing this for a while. Ugh. I don't know whether it makes any sense. I don't even know if it will ever get published. Why not? I mean, the title already is fantastic. Memoirs of an ex-soldier. I think it's perfect. I am tired of writing. I was only doing it to a while away the time. Uh, you know, <laughs> Nicholas, it is not easy to handle uh, retirement where you used to be busy all the time. Now you have so much time on your hands. May I? Would you allow me to take it to my room and read through? Of course. Of course, yes. Yes, read it while we are, while we are waiting for the police to give, to give us an idea as to the whereabouts of uh, Louisa. Yeah. Okay, sir. Um, I will give you feedback. Okay, sir. If it's time for you to go, it's for me a time of pain when I don't see my baby. Baby, oh, baby, oh, you're the one to go away. I'm the one to be alone, living with uh, my baby, baby, baby. My heart isn't strong enough. I cannot bear the pain to see you go. Oh, oh, oh. Baby, sir, open the gate. Yes, sir. Nick. Nick. Oh, hurry up. The DPO will be waiting. Nick, hurry up. Nick, are you all right? That's what this hospital is known for. Do you think he will be admitted? Um, it's too early to tell now. But you see, whether he stays in hospital or goes home, one thing you surely need is lots and lots of rest. And you make sure he gets sick. Uh, thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Auntie, please come back home. Things are getting out of hand. And we other need to rush to the hospital now. Who knows what will happen next? Maybe your father, Father Louis, will faint his own. Auntie, you know how much your father loves you. And you know that if he happens to know that I'm the one helping you, I don't know what will be my fate. Fear. 
Lisa. No I can see it all Hand in hand You are my father And he's my boy You are my home And he's my life I can still recall I can see it all I waited until their aircraft took off before I left the airport. By now, they are well and truly on their way to Canada. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God, sir. Baby? Sir. I've never mentioned this. I know the part you played in my daughter's self-disappearance. I shall have you dismissed. I shall have you locked up in the guard room and given 12 lashes every day for being so disloyal to me. But I will not do that. You want to know why? Because Luisa's plans worked. The disappearance brought Nick and I close. I got to know him and accept him as my future son-in-law. You may go to your post. Thank you, sir. Um, Abby. Sir. I owe you a lot of thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Soon they will get married. Begin to have their own children. Oh, and the voices of my grandchildren will fill this house and the whole place will become very warm again. <laughs> hey. It's time for you to go. It's for me a time of day when I don't see my baby. Sir, would it be out of place to say that um, Madame is out of town? <laughs> How did you arrive at that conclusion? Um, I mean, just take a look at your grocery. You have everything that completes a woman's kitchen. You have vegetable oil, you have maggi, you have beef, you have salad cream, you have tomato puree. You, you even have spaghetti, even have rice and, and all that thing. You even have chicken. So, you know, I was wondering, maybe Madame had some... Um, as out of town or you just want to help her out to the grocery that's all well 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 i must say i respect your intelligence um, would that be saying that i was correct uh, no uh, well uh, i am a widower oh my god sir i am so sorry oh uh, would you like to come and cook for me 
I wouldn't mind that. I would actually love to. If you invite me and um, if I have the time. So you're being seven thousand now. What? Seven thousand, sir. Yeah, of course, of course. Feel free, free to call me anytime. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. By the way, my name is Viola Sumbo. Viola. I am Lieutenant General Louis Duru Ohia. Retired. Now, sir, Louis Duru Ohia, a knight of the church. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 This, <laughs> this is so intimidating. I, I tell you. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, it was a pleasure meeting you. My dear, the pleasure is all mine. Yes, um, <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right, have a nice day. Have a wonderful day. Yes, can I help you? Good afternoon, sir. Um, I'm here to see Miss... No, Sir Louis Duru. Or uh her... -huh. Is he expecting you? Well, no and yes. Mimi? Well, just tell him that the lady he met at the supermarket some few weeks ago is here. My name is Viola. Tell him I came to cook for him. Viola? Yes, sir. Okay, wait here. I'm home! 
was great. I mean, I'm on the verge of getting a promotion. <laughs> wow, that's good. Yep. So what's happening? What are we eating? Huh? What is there to to eat today? Hmm? What are we eating today, huh? You okay? Come, what's wrong? Huh? What it's is it? It's my father. What's wrong with your father? He called and said he wanted to get married to one girl he met in the supermarket. <laughs> That's great news! That is the best news I've heard all year! He's met a girl, he wants to get his groove back on. I mean, that's, that's perfect news. We need to celebrate. Where's, where's my drink? That's excellent. He wants to get his groove back on. You remember what we went through? Your dad can love again? I don't like it. Why? Because the girl is just 24. So? So most of these girls are users. Any of them who knows my father's clout and standing will not hesitate to grab him for a husband. You know, for these girls, it's all about security. A man who could give them a secured future. Okay, first question. What shows this girl doesn't genuinely love your father? Second, what shows that she's a gold digger? Huh? She could just love your father for whatever reason. Not because of what he has, because of who he is. I mean, that also could be a factor, but big deal. There are some young ladies out there who just love older men because maybe the gray hair, big stomach. I don't know what it is, but he wants to get his groove back on. What's the big deal? So I don't like the sound of it at all. Why? <sighs> Baby, please sit down. Sit. Okay. I want to go to Nigeria. I think my father needs me. Listen, baby. I know you need me too, but we can relocate. There's Lagos, there's Abuja, both beautiful cities where you can find a good job too. I really don't like the idea of living as immigrants. Just listen to yourself, Louisa. Just listen to yourself. You think I really care? I just walked in today and I told you I'm going to get a promotion just today and you're talking about relocate I mean, what's, what difference does it make to me Abuja, Lagos, who cares thing is we're going to start afresh anyway why? because you want to monitor your dad you want to find out who he's sleeping with who he's sharing his bed with what difference does it make to us huh? what about our marriage don't you care about our marriage fine I'll make the journey alone I'll be back soon. Okay. Fine. Do what you want to do, alright? Just, you know what? Just do you, okay? Only gone for a year. Things don't change that easily. Besides, few roads have been constructed. I can see that. So tell me about this Biola girl you suddenly want to get married to. <laughs> oh, my dear, she is an angel. Oh, yes, wait, wait till we get home. I am head over heels in love with her. I can see that. Ah, my bad. Very good, sorry. Come in. Come in! Hello, Louisa! How are you? No, I am Bella. Oh, no, we shouldn't do that. Wow. You know, I'm so sorry that I wasn't around when you came in. 
I see. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Just hot. But, um, how was your flight? Great. Wow. Look beautiful. Serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, cut up the flat chain. You know, your father always talks about you. She's a princess, she's a darling, she, you, you know, a lot of things. But you know what, girl? You are everything your father told me you are. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, let me finish packing, okay? So that um, I come out and we just later on, okay? Fine! I just help you pack, you know? I'm not going to It's okay, um. I'll do it myself. You sure? Yes. <gasps> okay. No problem. And I'll wait for you downstairs by then lunch will be ready. You know, my husband doesn't like to eat alone. He loves to eat with a mountain. Such a baby. Your husband. Oh, don't be like your mom. Your father. Oh. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay. Alright, see you later. See you Ah, no! You know, this feels like the sisters. Only that. Bye! <laughs> Louisa, what do you think of my wife's cooking? She is the best cook there is, isn't she? <laughs> I am blushing already, darling. <laughs> you see, Louisa, my husband loves to praise me to high heavens. Well, it's because you deserve it. Coming into my life and turning my uh, boring, tired of life, uh, uh, drop into a, a vibrant, full of life glow. Huh? <laughs> Louisa, we were talking about uh, Biola's cooking. Yeah. <clears throat> The food is good. I guess she did her best. Oh, she always does her best for me at all times. Mm. I'll have a little bit more. Huh? <clears throat> mm. No. No, darling. No. No. You see, I do not want you eating too much. And growing fat. And having bulgy stomach. I'm not looking good for me. You're quite right. Um, would you like to take some? Oh. Yeah, if you allow me just a little. Thank you. Daddy. I think you should take some more food if you're hungry. No. Louisa, he's getting old. Digestion for him will be very slow. And if he eats too much, he might even get so fat. Mm. And I bet your husband isn't fat, is he? If my father's hungry, let him eat. Louisa. No, Daddy. Since when did you become this submissive? That you allow somebody else to make rules for you? Up to what quantity of food you eat? And you? Is that how you intend to marry my father? By controlling him like some little kid? Louisa, you are raising your voice. You know, I must say that I'm really surprised. Louisa, your outburst is so unnecessary or so uncalled for. At least it's better for you. Did she leave her husband's house just to come here to fight me? Don't worry, my dear. Don't worry. I will handle it. She's not even married to you yet, and she addresses you as her husband? Why is she in a hurry to take my mother's place if she's not a gold digger, like most of those girls out there? Louisa, you are wrong. She didn't know anything about me when we met. But Daddy, she now knows much about you. And her interest has grown hugely to become Mrs. Duo Ohia, Ebitao Lieutenant General. 
who has no heir to inherit his money except a daughter who is married. Daddy, you are a hot cake for girls, don't you know? Abiola is not like that. You, you must accept her. Besides, I am hopelessly in love with her. She's the only thing happening to me, to my life, right at this moment. Daddy, I'm surprised at you. Where is the strong man I used to know? Where's the military man? What happened to you? Oh, love happened to me. The love that takes away who you really are is not good love. Get away from it. Come in, Biola. My husband. My dearest. It's bedtime. And I've been in the bedroom all by myself. Oh. So um. Louisa. Yes. We've got to go to sleep now. And so should you. Say me well to your husband when he calls. But Daddy, we haven't finished talking. It's important. No, Louisa. I mean, it's not right. Your father is not as young as he used to be. You need to let him go to bed early so you have quality rest. Louisa, your life's right. We'll continue with our discussion tomorrow. Good night, my dear. The whole thing where they scatter my hair right now, say, that girl is married. Sure? Married, though. I Not said married. Now she say she won't leave her own husband's house. Come my own place. Come make me uncomfortable. For we are sister, they call my own heaven. I'm not saying. See. Better don't come to this one room of yours in this house. Oh, wait a See, girl, now, fight it out now, eh? See, win this man's heart, you know? Serious. If he marry you, I want to see marry you, eh? You're the better. See, this see, one. girl, opportunity comes, but we'll do fast now. This one. I say I use what they call TLC. Tender, loving care. See, Abe, come, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. See, you know, I think it's time, you know, you should get that old man to get you pregnant. Fast! See, once that man gets you pregnant, you're secure. Mercy, I don't try. Huh? I don't try to get the belly. But the thing say, you know why I enter. Anyway, Sha, what of a maker? I hope so that I'm sitting inside. Try with big. It's a very difficult boy. They've done annoying myself. You'll just come. It's a Biola bag. And um, um, I can't reach on phone. Did you they pay me? <laughs> My sister, I had to fling that SIM card. Uh, as soon as I got to the gate of that man's house, I flung it. Yes, now. It was not saying it to the coco. Now we let's get fair, best. What's it happen? <laughs> oh, she had to tell you the truth. I fear. I fear. Because I don't want to make mistakenly now one day. The maker can't go catch me for inside San Luis car. I go back. You know, say my car will walk out, walk Don't get any place, not the enter. You go back, Sha. So this is what's been going on in this house. Yes, Auntie. That is how it is now, no. Sir Louis does not do anything except she said so. He does not even go out if she's not going with him. Until the other day, Oga reduced my salary because she said I earn too much. Auntie, he trusts and depends on her. 100%. I want you to get somebody to watch her. The person should follow her wherever she goes. Once she leaves this compound. I want to know who her friends are, where she goes, and where she lived before she came into this house. Everything. Yes, Auntie. Arrange it. I'll pay the person very well. No problem, Auntie. It is done. Okay. And, um... Let me know when you've arranged everything, okay? Get back to me as soon as possible. It's okay. All right, take care. Okay, bye bye. If I ask anything of you, that's almost impossible. Can you give it to me? Some 
impossible. Mm. Oh, what could that be? Um, do you want my life? Because if you do, I've already given it to you. You don't need to ask, my dear. Mm. Are you sure? Of course. Okay. Okay. I want. I want my. I want the car. I want you to buy me a car, a small car, a big one. If anyone, even if it's small, big, as far as it's a car of my own, that's what I want. But, but there are many cars in the house. You can use any one you want. No, like. no, no, no. It's all right. You, you know how, how Louisa dislikes me? Then one day we'll start struggling for cars as she will sort me and tell me that I'm eating her father's money, I'm taking her father's money, that I'm driving her father's car. Me, I want my own car. A car that uh, at least if she talks to me, I can show her the papers and say that it's my own. My name is there. That's what me, I want to. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll get you one. Are you serious? Tomorrow, you can have your car. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Day. It's like the happiest day of my life. Congratulations. Oh, 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 thank you so much. Give me a hug. Oh, oh. <sighs> You're really doing well for yourself. Oh. Thank you. So, where's my father now? Oh, he's having a bath upstairs. You know, it was. A bit of a stress trying to pick this out of the lot. I made a very good choice, didn't you? I see. Hmm. Keep it up. You're really doing well for yourself. Let's look around the town. Let's show the world what we're made of. Come on. Go around, drive a car, please. No, oh, thank you. Some other time. Oh, really? My dog, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. This is my bedroom. Mm, nice. Feel at home. Yeah. You know? Oh. Oops. 
miss it. Hello? Oh, hi! Hi, Louisa, how are you? Hello, Nick, are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay, but I'm not okay, like, okay. Because you've let me here, you left me here all alone. I'm, I'm lonely. I know, I'm so sorry. But look, you don't know what is happening here. I think I took a good decision by coming here. My father's getting more and more hoodwinked by this girl every day. She's a smooth criminal. And I am the only one who can stop her from destroying my father. Are you willing to do that at the expense of our marriage, our love? Come on, has it occurred to you one minute that I'm lonely? Baby, I said I'm sorry. Listen, please hang in there, okay? I'll be back soon. Let me take this girl to the cleaners first, okay? Okay. Whatever makes you happy, fine. I can cook oh, for honey! You. Are you so alive? Nick? Yeah. Where are you? I I'm home. I'm home. Where, where can I be? I mean, I've come from work. I've come from work and I'm home. Who's with you? Somebody just spoke now. A lady's voice. Nobody is with me. Nick, I heard a lady's voice. There is no lady's what voice. What is wrong with you? There is no lady's voice. I'm, I'm in the house alone. I, yeah, listen, it's the TV. Yeah, just listen to the volume. It's the TV. You see, the TV was up loud. And was there somebody talking in there? Can you hear it? You hear it now? Come on. Sweetie, don't you believe me anymore? Okay. If you say so. I I just called to check up on you. Alright, okay, I love you. What is wrong with you? Is it because your wife called? She should have kept her damn ass here in this country. On me, Piola. I can see you started growing wings. Look, Rebecca, you better have to stay off me. Oh. You better have to stay clear of me. Do you understand? That I went home to see my parents and they gave me this car to bring back to school. Is that what you're making a big issue about? And now that you're back from your trip, why are you not sleeping in this house? Did I not tell you that my uncle is in town? And I went to keep him company. Is there any problem with that? Look, my dear, you had better stop policing me. You had better stop policing me because you're just my boyfriend. Not even my father. Even my husband, so you better stop it. There's a limit I can take. I'll beat the shit out of you if you raise your voice at me again. Hey! Me, Emeka, 
Yes. I make a try it. I make a try it. I will kill you. I will. I will lose my see my use in your head. You're mad. All right. Raise your voice at me again. Raise your voice. Hey, 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 hey. Look at you. Come on. What's wrong with both of you? Emeka, why are you behaving as if you have an inferiority complex? Your girlfriend bought a car, so what? Man, it's your car too! Then why she fled up and walked out on me? It's a mess. Just because I asked her where she has been all these days! Look, you better stop raising your voice at me, yo! Make you, make you tell this boy who I be, yo! Make you tell him who I be, make him stop the raise your voice from my, from my head, eh? Stop it! Yo, it's alright, it's alright! See, get into the house. Man, you guys should sort these things out. Messi, I'm not to stand this rubbish, eh? I can't stand it. I'll talk to you later, guys. You can see it. No, no, no. She has started growing wings. Sure. I better leave the girl alone, Jure. Ah. I've got those wings that I'm using flying over your head. And if I don't clip those wings of yours, then my name is not Emeka. Hey, if your name is Emeka, buy this car. Can I talk to you? Oh, Luisa. Uh, I, I, I was looking for you. You were out. What is it you want to talk to me about? I'd have liked to speak to you in private. But I guess I'd rather just say it here. It's about this imposter here called Biola. She's fake. She's having an affair behind your back and I have got proof. I had her followed and I even already lasted. No, yeah, yeah, stop it, stop it. Never do a thing like that. Me. An affair. Yes, you. I've got proof. Oh, to hell with your proof. It is not true. It cannot be true. Ah. Even if you hate my wife to be so much, why should you tell such a fantastic lie against her? Now go to your room. I say go to your room! Daddy, I'm not lying. It's a Accusations. All I do know is that I love you. All I do know is that you have become an inseparable part of me. God will not forgive you if you take my emotions for a ride because I have given you my own. You have no reason to, to skim. You have no reason to lie. You don't have no reason to cheat, to get anything, because I have given you, it's all yours, given freely by me. If Louisa's accusation, if there's any truth in them,
I see. You've probably come to apologize for your silly behavior the other day. Nope. On the other hand, I have come to break up with you formally. You go your way, I go my way. That's a joke. Well, please sit down. What would you like to drink? I have brandy and I also have small stuff. Emeka, I have someone else in my life. He came in as a joke. But surprisingly, I've come to realize how much I feel for him. That's crazy. That's bullshit. You dump a guy like that? I mean, what are you talking about, Emeka? We've always had our own problems. I mean, your careful way of talking, your overbearing attitude, your domineering attitude like you own me, your fleet of women, etc. I've always complained, you know, but I just wasn't ready to dump your ass yet. Yeah. Probably you're reading now because you've found a rich man. Oh, please, spare me this talk. Of course he's rich, yes. Applause to my side. But it's not because he is rich. It's because of the man I found him to be. So, what do you want me to do now? Get down on my knees and beg. Please forgive me. Please, my door is open so you can leave my house. There's so many pretty chicks on campus. so much for making this so easy. Yeah, Serena. Please, can you come to my house, please? So, what you're saying is that you can no longer extort money from him as we planned? My God! I mean, Bola, that, Bola, that's not fair. I mean, it's not going to favor me. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. You need to have been there. You need to see the way he almost worked for me to love him. You need to see everything. You know? I felt so unworthy of him. You know? At that instant, something, something just clicked. Something in me clicked for him. Love. I don't know if it's love. I don't know what to call it. I don't know. I sincerely do not know what it is. But I shall know that I do not want to hurt him again. I never want to see him get hurt. I, will, I never want to lie to him again. Never. I'll see you some other time, okay? And I'll call you. Mm -hmm. Surprises never end. anything until you get back. Oh, you're so wonderful. Oh, you are lovely. I love you. I love you so much. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? What are you doing? Are you on my phone? Are you on my phone? Take your phone! Didn't I tell you not to take my phone? Who wasn't any of them talking? Hello? 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 Or you'll be out of this house, I'm telling you. <laughs> she knows. She knows. I'm not gonna tell my wife. <laughs> Did I tell you not to pick my call? Did I tell you not to pick my call? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Huh? Do you know what it's gonna cost me? Do you know what's gonna happen to my marriage? To me? I'm sorry. Are you gonna ruin my marriage? I, I, I did. Huh? You don't. Just go, friends. Just leave me alone. Come on, dear. Don't, don't be touch like me. this. Don't touch me. I'm not ready for this, okay? You're trying to break my, my marriage. Just leave. Just get up. Go. This is so crazy. Why did you let me here at the first place if you love her this much? I don't know. I don't freaking know. I'm just a bum. I guess I'm just angry. I'm just angry at her. I'm angry at myself. Ran out there and ran to save her father. Doesn't she know I need her to? I'm confused right now. I can't what to do. I should have just taken a leave and go with her. Shit. You know what? I'm not thinking straight right now. Ingrid, just pack your things and just go away. Just go away! Is that way you want it? Just go away! is cheating. He's doing what? The worst point of it all is that I came here to save you from this destroyer you call your wife. 
but you won't believe me. Instead, you sink deeper and deeper into her arms. I could even bring the man I sent to follow her. To tell you what he saw and overheard himself. But you wouldn't listen. I know. So my journey is wasted. I have lost my marriage. Because I wanted to come and save you. That is all in vain. Because you do not want to be saved. You don't. Louisa, if Nick is cheating on you, in heaven's name, how can that be my fault? I only called you to tell you that I am getting married. I didn't ask you to abandon your husband and home and fly back to me. Neither did I tell you I, I am in trouble. She's right. What? Everything she said is right. I was a schemer. But I came into your life for money. I was keeping a boyfriend while I was in a relationship with you. But now, all that has changed now. Because I have genuinely fallen in love with you. I was fake. But now I'm real. I love you. I love you so much right now that I love the very end that you stuck. I know it to please your daughter to see me go. I mean, who would blame her anyway? You are all girls, young, growing girls. And we all know what you are capable of doing. my husband. So Louis, I always, always, always want you to know that I have never lied to you when I said I love you. It, it began as fake. But now, it is real. I'll just go.
don't have to go. Everybody deserves another chance. I've never seen my father weep. He loves you. But I guess I didn't even have to come here in the first place. Two of you would have somehow worked things out eventually. No, Louisa. Your coming down here was, was good. I only fell in love with your father the moment he took me upstairs to his room. He looks me in the eyes and told him how much he loved me. Right after he just told him who I was. Something in me just melted for him. My heart just melted for him. I am in love with your father. I love him so much. And... So, what are you going to do about your husband? Yeah. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. But for now, you need to go to my father. He needs you.
I was going mad. I felt so sad. Louisa, please. I felt lost. I felt you abandoned me. You just left me. Come on, please. I just, I just lost it. turned him away. Look, any man who travels all the way from Canada to Nigeria to see and beg his wife for forgiveness must love her. Please, forgive Nicholas. Take him back. Make your marriage work. Make it work. There's hardly a better man out there. Louis, so please listen to your father. Remember what you told me upstairs? While you came to tell me not to leave your father? You said everyone deserves another chance. Uh -huh. Isn't Nicholas part of that everyone? Doesn't he deserve another chance? Me. Louisa, the best people in the world are those who have made mistakes and learned from them. Now you show me a man who has never made a mistake and I will show you a man who may never arise if he ever falls. Louisa. Nicholas loves you. He is your husband. I mean, scold him for his misbehavior. But still take him back and forgive him. You know what my mother always says? Catch and release is the secret of all successful marriages. Nicholas is out there. Shall we bring him in? Don't worry, let me get him. That's why I'm here to ask for your forgiveness. I didn't mean to. Please forgive me. You hurt me. 
You hurt me deeply. I know. I know. And I'm sorry. I mean it. I want to promise my undying love for you. The future holds another life. The future holds another fear. We think this, we think that. We think here, we think there. Oh, no one knows there's no sight. We're still in love in the heart of the night. Take me alone to the place of happiness. Take me with you to the place of joy. I can still recall the moments we shared. I can see it all hand in hand. You are my father and he's my boy. You are my home and he's my life. I can still recall. I can see it all. Take me with you to the place of joy. Take me with you to the place of happiness. Oh, oh, oh. See you guys. A question. Mm. What do you think I would do to you if you did something like that? Mm. I think you will scold me and forgive me. Remember, catch and release is the secret of all successful marriages. <laughs> Gospel according to your mother. <laughs> I'm in love, she's been my miracle 